Hello and welcome to 2-10. Today we're multiplying two digit numbers. Okay, so that's where we would have like 576 multiplied by 20. Uh, let's not do 20. Let's do 28. Okay, so then I'm going to do 6 times 8 is 48. And 8 times 7 is 56, plus 4 more is 60. Sorry. Um, 8 times 5 is 40, plus 6 is 46. And then we need to remember that right here I'm not multiplying by 2, I'm multiplying by 20. So I need to put a 0 here, because we have talked about it. Anytime I multiply, like if I have... 17 times 20, right? I can do 17 times 2, which is 34, and then just add in my 0. So that's what we're doing here. We're multiplying everything by 20. Um, so if I put my 0 here, I can just do normal multiplying. So 2 times 6 is 12. 2 times 7 is 14. Add one more is 15. Uh, 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 more is 11, and then we would add them together. So this is probably a, a much more difficult one because I've made it up. Then you will be seeing on 4, 5, 6, uh, our video today, so our answer is 16,128. But I just wanted to give you a quick run through, now we'll kind of step back and look at each process as we go on. If this is something you're pretty confident in, just look at the answers and kind of go through them on your own and, make, and you can check your answers um, afterwards when I'm doing them. Okay, so let's read our second problem, our second example here. It says domestic cats can run up to 44 feet per second on land. At this rate, how many feet could a cat run in 12 seconds? Okay, so in one second they can run 44 feet. And so in 12 seconds, we just know that that, that needs to be a multiplying problem. Um, so first, let's find our estimate. 44 times 10, which means I just write 44 and add a 0. So let's, it should be close to four th uh, 440 feet. Feet, don't forget your label. Okay, so let's look here. 4 times 2 is 8. 2 times 4 is 8. Now I'm going over to that tens place, so if I add a zero here, then I don't have to worry about uh, multiplying everything by 10. I can just multiply them by one. One times four is four. One times four is four. So then I'm gonna add them together. Eight plus zero is eight. Eight plus four is 12. One plus four is five. So we get 528 feet. Okay, so a domestic cat can run about 528 feet in 12 seconds. So is that close to 440? Um, yes, kind of. I mean, you know, it tells us we're in the right ballpark, right? Because if I would have forgotten my zero here, I guess this is the biggest thing it will catch. If I forget to put my zero there, then I'm going to get the answer. I would be adding 88 plus 44. Okay, and if I add those together, I would get 132. So then that would tell you, wait a minute, I'm way off. I got 132 because I forgot to put my zero in. Okay, so then it would help you catch that you didn't, you forgot to put your zero in. Okay, so that's what that would help is if you're doing this kind of estimate. So is it super close? No, but it will help you to see, hey, I might have forgotten something. I should check my work if you got 132 after you multiplied it out. So that's what the estimate is really good for to make sure you didn't make any mistakes and it can help you catch them if you did. Okay, so here we're going to find 165 multiplied by 31. So I'm going to estimate, I'm going to round it to the nearest 100. So I get 200 and 30. So I'm going to multiply 2 times 3 is 6. Count the zeros. I have three zeros, so it's about 6,000 is what I should get. So if I'm going to multiply this through, 5 times 1, 5. 5 times 6, 6. 
or sorry, one times six. Uh, one times one is one, bring my zero down, and I'm multiplying everything by 30. Three times five is 15. Three times six is 18, plus one more is 19. Three times one is three, plus one more is four. Let's add them all up here. Five plus zero is five. Six plus five is 11. Nine plus two is 11. And four plus one is five. So I got 5,115. Is that close to 6,000? Yes. It is. So we know that we had we did some our multiplying right. Right, let's try one more problem here. Today we're going to multiply 32 by 13. Our first step is to estimate 30 times 10. 3 times 1 is 3. Add my two zeros. Okay. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 3 is 9. Then we have our zero here because we're going through and multiplying everything by 10. So if I just put my zero here, then I can multiply everything by 1. 1 times 2 is 2. 1 times 3 is 3. Add up. 6 and 0 is 6. 9 and 2 is 11. 1 and 3 is 4. So my answer is 416. And then I'm going to check for reasonableness. So my estimate was 300. My actual answer was 416. Is it reasonable? Yes. Is it exact? No. But is it close? Yes. So there we have it. Um, thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow.